Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be a general energy reading for you guys so please take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates at all here in your sun sign Aquarius, please Check your moon rising and Venus, and if those don't vibe for you, then definitely check some of the other readings or the older readings that I have, okay? This is going to be a little bit different from what I've been doing before. I'm actually reverting back to the way I used to do these general readings, so I'm looking at more oracle cards, and I'm going in a little bit more about uh, other details in your life as opposed to focusing a lot on love, which seems to come up a lot. We will look at love, but we're going to handle everything else that you need to know first, okay? Definitely a lot of messages from spirit. And this is the way I used to do the readings before. Um, I, I feel it's very supportive, especially for those of you going through a lot of different things, not really understanding maybe what's happening or why it's happening, uh, you know, and me being in the position that I that I feel like, you know, I, I have the ability to, to uh, talk to you guys, you know, and help you. I want to be able to, to help you right through this, uh, this kind of avenue that I'm using here and help you for your, your highest self, your highest good. Okay. So that you guys can live the very best life that you really, really want to be living. All right. And, and really dive in and get those messages from spirit and what they're, what they're telling you, okay? So we're gonna look at that. We're gonna look at your uh, energy when it comes to love and relationships and uh, any other messages that we have, okay? Down in the description box is where you can find me on other social media outlets. And last but not least, guys, if any of this resonates for you, please show your girl some love by smashing the love button, commenting down below, and subscribing. And when you guys subscribe, please do me a favor, hit the bell's notification so that it lets you know or I pop up in your feed. Because if you just subscribe, it like you may never see me again. <laughs> I just found this out from, from uh, YouTube. Actually, I had to ask because some people are like, why am I subscribed to you? But I'm never getting notified. I'm like, well, you don't have your notifications on. If you turn on the bell for all, then I will come up in your feed. Okay. So if you have notifications off the like pop-ups on your phone, I will still come up in your feed. Okay. So I wanted to put that out there for you guys. So let's dive right in. Okay. So I'm getting really strong messages about your intuition, about you hearing spirit. Some of you might feel quite possibly like you're just not in that in that space. Like you feel like maybe God, spirit, whatever it is, isn't listening to you, isn't hearing you or whatever. You may even feel a little bit like, eh, I don't feel like it right now. You know what I mean? I feel like heavily, you guys there's something about not paying attention to your intuition here, really not listening to that inner guidance system or really having that kind of spiritual relationship right now, okay? Why I say that uh, is because we have the deep knowing card, but it's actually in reverse, okay? So the deep knowing is in reverse, and this is sort of saying to me, like uh, maybe some of you aren't really trusting your intuition, okay? Because it is the moon, and the moon reveals stuff to us, okay? So it's quite possible that there's something you want to see, but you're not able to see it right now because maybe your intuition is a little bit shut off, and that happens when we get really busy or we get really in our head we kind of sometimes disconnect from that really you know deep part of ourself that's really hearing you know trusting spirit in that way okay so some of you guys might be having a little bit of an issue with that for others of you I feel like there's something that's come out recently that maybe you knew deep down and now you finally know the truth about it or that's coming up now here at the end of November sorry guys you ever get a belly itch like I'm in the middle of doing a reading could we not sorry all right so then we have a change in the wind which is a really beautiful card in the upright but it came in the um in the opposite so what this is really saying to me guys right now is that there seems to be a resistance to change 
I feel like some of you are resisting change right now, okay? Uh, and for whatever reason, maybe you're just going through something, okay? Some of you might just really be going through something. Maybe it's just that you're so set in a routine, you're so set in your ways, that it's really challenging for you right now to shift and change anything, okay? And it could be that things are changing all around you, but you don't want them to change. That happens a lot. We get into a comfort zone. And then the next thing you know, we're there like five years later going, what the hell, nothing's changed. Do you know what I mean? And then we're longing for change. So right now you guys could just sort of be in like I said, that comfort zone and a little bit resistant to things changing. But I think that spirit is trying to change things around you, okay? So in some aspect, I feel like it's a little nudge to be like, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I feel like you begrudgingly like, okay. You know, like you guys are really rebellious. You like to do things your own way. You don't like anybody telling you what to do. So if you're getting those little intuitive nudges, maybe some of you are maybe ignoring them. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, it was crazy that those two cards came out because the third eye chakra came out too. And I was like, okay, if spirit isn't saying, trust your damn intuition, then I don't know what's happening here. All right. So like I said before, some of you might be really off with your third eye chakra, right? So um, if you feel like quite possibly if some of you have been looking at like, uh, is my pineal gland calcified, how to decalcify, look that information up. Okay, guys, I'm a firm believer that over time, uh, you know, we don't use certain muscles. Uh, we ingest a lot of different things. We have lots of stuff in our environment that are affecting us constantly. It affects our ability to tap in, especially to our intuition. So I feel again, like I said, this is spirit saying, Please pay attention very heavily to your intuition right now. And if you're feeling disconnected, then do some meditating. Sit with yourself, you know. Do the different practices. Sorry, guys. Somebody's got the loudest piece of junk car ever in the lot right now. Um, well, whatever. Okay, so I was saying, basically, whatever it is, whatever tool you feel is best to kind of open you up and create that connection or strengthen that muscle, that might be something that you guys want to look into working at. For some of you, it might be really super powerful right now. You know, it might be really super powerful for some of you. Okay, we have the lead it's the four it's like the emperor in reverse okay so what i really feel with this card right now guys is that some of you may be feeling like not very confident okay you may be in a leadership position or you're asked you know to you're asked into a position of taking a lead but you don't feel very confident right now for whatever reason aquarius maybe you know, you're having one of those moments where you feel a little fragmented from yourself right now. And that's perfectly okay. We're allowed to be scattered. You know, we're, we're allowed to have those moments for sure. But I feel like some of you, you know, uh, maybe some of you don't even want to be in a leadership position right now. So you're trying to step back and take a break from that. But I feel like this is spirit saying it's getting time for you to turn this energy around and begin to be a leader for others or take the lead in your own life. I get powerless. Like I feel as if there's somebody there, you know, saying I feel sort of powerless in some of my situations. You're never powerless, right? We just forget we just forget because we get overwhelmed with our emotions, you know, and our ego starts driving us to, you know, do things or not do things. All right. So just check in with that one there. Okay, guys, check, check in with that one there. We have the one here. It's a strengthening bonds. I like this card very much about creating relationships. Okay. Maybe having some new beginnings with different people that might be very healing beginnings here. So it's like you you might be moving into this energy right now with maybe one particular person or more than one person, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship where you're really creating a bond, right? But from like a ground level, from like, you know, like the root, right? Really learning how to dive into friendships and relationships and really 
create stability and trust with other people. Because this is red, it's root chakra. So it has a lot to do with our stability and creating strength, uh, family ties, um, the things that make us feel safe and secure. So you might be really working in that energy right now, okay? So that's what I got for you in the way of Oracle. Now we're going to take a look at the tarot, okay? Let's take a look at the tarot. What other messages do we have here please, for Aquarius? What else is going on for the month for Aquarius? What else is going on? Show me what else. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are in a relationship. You're going to be taking a leadership position at work. Maybe some of you are turning down a leadership position at work. Okay. What else do we have here for Aquarius? Some of you might be taking a relationship to another level, but we'll see. What else? Very interesting. All right. What else do we have here, please, for Aquarius? <clears throat> So let's take a look at what we got here. So I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Five of Swords. I promise you, what is with the noise? It's like today, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. Okay, so we have here, you guys might be really focused on your home okay or relationships right now um, take it as it resonates for you you might also be very focused on making and saving money okay for some of you I, I feel like you're maybe redecorating doing stuff like that you're very much in sort of like a nurturing kind of state you know making something your own uh, nesting even some of you might be getting ready to have babies or things like that um, kind of in a caring mothering mode. Uh, I think some of you um, have been in a really nice relationship, but I feel almost like for some of you, like your partner is a little more of the leader and not you, so to speak, okay? So um, I think many of you are thinking about that, like how you can be in a position where you're able to lead without being how, what's the thing what's the word that I'm looking for here spirit to lead without being overbearing does that make sense for some women you probably know what I mean like without being a you know bitch all right so okay we're moving on here to Taurus energy I also have Pisces out very strong I don't know if that means anything for anybody who's watching but we have Taurus, and Taurus talks about tradition and foundation with the Hierophant, okay? So maybe some of you are thinking about taking a relationship to another level. Some of you could be thinking very much about um, marriage, engagement, stuff like that. Maybe even just moving in with somebody, but this is very much about tradition, Um you know, and like what you've always done. Remember I said there's some resistance to change here? For somebody, there are some issues with dishonesty, all right? Either dishonest people around you or you have trouble with being honest about things, okay? I tell stuff exactly as I see it and how I feel it when these cards come up in the reading. It, I'm not going after any of you, so please you know, try to relax. This is feedback, right? And what feedback does is help us to grow, okay? So, strengthening bonds being above all of this would say to me that maybe some of you are being very honest with people you otherwise maybe have not been honest with, okay? Or they're being honest with you right now. Some of you may be doing some counseling or looking at doing some type of counseling because you're noticing that, you know, maybe you just need to talk to somebody. Maybe you notice that there's stuff that, you know, you don't deal with in the way that you want to be able to deal with it or something like that. Or maybe somebody said to you, hey, like maybe you got some PTSD, like you should go see somebody. The hair font can indicate people going to, you know, church. You may be having, maybe ha wanting to go to church and things like that, or 
join some like spiritual thing, maybe even take up yoga, because I think you guys are really trying to reconnect, so to speak, with your intuition or go deeper with your intuition, okay? Um, but like I said, some of you have been resistant, but when it comes to whatever this issue might be here, it might have to do with dishonesty somehow, okay? So I need to say it. So there's something here that we don't see with the high priestess. I'm going to clarify that, all right? So we have the high priestess and she talks about mystery, things that are still being hidden. So we're going to find out what this mystery is. It's a fool. It's a new beginning. Why else do we have this high priestess here? Why else is high priestess here? Okay, we had the page of pentacles. All these other things here I'm going to put right back there. Okay, so we have the Fool and the Page of Pentacles. These are both new beginnings, okay? So I, I almost feel like this is kind of like what you don't see coming or, you know, something like that is I think that there's some sort of money or some money gift that's coming in here, right? For many of you, I feel like there's a new beginning um, and I think you want that. And for some of you, this has to do with integrity and trust, okay? Integrity and trust. Because for me, that's really sort of what a page of pentacles is. This is a person, too, who is learning how to build and create, you know, stability, wealth, financial stuff, okay? So some of you could be jumping into, like, say, uh, you know, learning how to create wealth, build your money, uh, investing, uh, putting things away for a rainy day, okay? So definitely really nice energy, really nice energy. Okay, so we have a page of wands here. We have a five of swords. Uh, five of swords can talk a lot about uh, mind games, head games, stuff like that. So be aware that there could be somebody in your life here that's playing head games with you if you haven't had the awareness of that. Maybe some of you are actually waking up here in November and realizing that somebody's been playing some really hard games with you, okay? There's a conversation to be had here or a message coming through with the Page of Wands. Let's see what that is. What's this message? with the page of wands thank you somebody wants to tell you how they feel about you okay this person could be younger than you I've got a lot of pages here right so I feel like some of you could also be in some sort of learning stage as well why else do we have the page of wands yeah, there's definitely somebody coming in here expressing how they feel to you. This person might also want to be giving you some sort of apology as well, guys, okay? There may be um, some, like, forgiveness or something that's needed here. I don't know, but this definitely feels like somebody who wants to start something. They want to grow the love with you. They want to grow the feelings and emotions with you, okay? And I feel like... Uh, with the page of wands it always feels like a new journey and it's about a spark it's about the energy of something starting brand new right all the pages are kind of like understudies they're learning they're in school you know they're they're having brand new beginnings everything is fresh it's new it's it's ambitious okay so I feel like there is a very ambitious person coming toward you telling you how they feel about you too uh, at some point in this month all right so I'm seeing Taurus, Pisces, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cap or, um, yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here pretty heavily. Okay, guys. Uh, we also have Aries. All right. So let's take a look at love for you. Let's take a look at love. Let's see what's going on with love for Aquarius, please. Show me love. What's going on in Aquarius's love life? what what there's a lot of sexy happening over here could also be some player-ish let's see some of you got a new love coming through okay could be a reconnection but yeah okay I like this so far we have cancer energy too what else for Aquarius oh hell yes okay 
Aquarius, I like this very, very much. So we have you out here looking good, dating, okay? Riding, riding a horse. Why do I keep thinking of that damn song? Do any of you remember that song? White horse, come ride the white horse. <laughs> That's an old, old, I just dated myself, all right? Um, so we have you here dating, looking really good. Maybe, you know, making some connections, you know what I'm saying? We got some big wood energy right here, but it's all good. Things are moving forward for you in your dating life. Like I said, I feel like somebody's coming through and expressing their feelings to you. Could be a long time coming, and I think that a lot of you have made a lot of positive changes. So you may be seeing a different kind of person showing up here uh, with the temperance energy, okay? Um, I feel like Many of you have been waiting a long time to meet the right kind of person. Uh, Aquarius, I feel like many of you tend to be really finicky, really picky people sometimes when it comes to like who you want to date and stuff like that. But we do have a brand new love that's coming through for you, Aquarius, and that makes me feel really good. It makes me feel really happy. I'm excited about that for you. This is a, a brand new love. For some, it could be a second chance with a person you've already been with, uh, but we'll see. We're going to clarify these, okay? I'm interested in seeing why the temperance is here. Temperance can be about healing, balance, patience. Yeah, you guys put in a lot of work in your healing journey, okay? That's what I feel like. I feel like you put a lot of work into your healing journey here, okay? Uh, and I, I feel like you're actually seeing the fruit of your labor. Why do we have the chariot? This is all about moving forward very, very quickly. You might be meeting somebody here uh, and, and you guys, it just pops off and you guys really um, move forward very quickly and this works really well. I think you guys balance each other out. There's a lot of really good chemistry between the two of you, a lot of sexual attraction as well. We have the hermit here, Virgo energy. After a long time of some of you kind of hermiting yourself away, I feel like you're moving forward, okay? You're opening up and you're moving forward. Um, you could also be meeting a Virgo or a Cancer. There is a, there is pretty strong like Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. We also have Sagittarius and these are majors. So we have four majors here out of six cards. I feel like whoever this is is going to have a very heavy influence in your life um, for good. Okay, let me just put it that way. I see nothing but good things coming out of this new connection that's coming forward for you. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Wands? Yeah, look, because the freaking Ace of Cups, I'm telling you guys, there is a brand new love that is coming through. Okay, why do we have the Ace of Cups? Devil in reverse. Some of you have let go of a lot of emotional baggage. Look, Ten of Cups at the bottom, all right? Ten of Cups at the bottom, you guys. The work that you have done, and I think I might have said this before. You guys put in some work, right? You have re resolved a bunch of stuff. You might be resisting change, okay? You might be going through a little something. Maybe you're resisting really listening to your intuition when it comes to certain areas of your life. However, you've done the work, okay? Double in the reverse. You are not so emotionally attached to what's coming here uh, you're just kind of free flowing okay and i think that a lot of you have outpoured a lot of love to yourself i think that you've done a lot of work and it's no surprise that you have a brand new love that's coming through plus i absolutely feel like this is the kind of love that is not going to be toxic because i think that some of you uh, either you've been toxic in the past in your emotional connections or you've been connecting with people who have been really toxic to you, Aquarius. Like you've been the person who's had to try to figure your way out of the damn relationship, okay? I actually, this hair font just caught my eye, so I want to see why this is here too, please. Can you please clarify this hair font? Yeah, there's a new offer that's going to come through for you. Some of you are getting new job offers, I see here. But this is, I feel like 
for some of you, you really are getting stable of, of like who you really are as a person, okay? What you really think, what you really believe. I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles, it's like a solid new beginning that's coming for you, okay? And you are really working at creating that for yourself, creating wealth, having stability, um, and doing whatever it takes to get to that place, okay? So that you're starting from a very healthy, well-rounded, you know, grounded type of place. All right. Let's take a look at the romance angels and see what else we have regarding love. Yes. I love this dude. Mm, healing family issues. I'm telling you, some of you, maybe you had some issues around lies within your family. Okay, lies within your family. It's quite possible. But we have here healing family issues. And it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I just got this phone that I'm recording on, so I don't know if this is showing up backwards or not. I guess I'll see as soon as I um, as soon as I look back at the video. So some of you might be healing family issues, or you've been working on that a lot. Um, and I feel like as you do, you literally have called in the soulmate because, like I said, you've healed, you've been healing, you've been working on your stuff, uh, you put the work in. So you're getting a blessing of this beautiful. I feel like a soulmate coming through here, okay? And this person's also been on a journey themselves as well, all right? It says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So if you're in it, if you're on this journey right now, keep doing the work, keep doing the visualizations, keep putting your energy out there because I'm telling you guys, this person is literally coming, Okay, they are literally coming. I feel like the end of this month, the beginning of next month, you're going to run into somebody and it's just going to be very, very blissful. <laughs> it's like bliss. Okay, I just feel like bliss is on its way, even though you're struggling in some areas, you know, one or two areas here. For the most part, I see a lot of positive stuff happening for you. Money looking a lot better, uh, money coming your way, settling down, getting yourself a lot more grounded. All right. And um, I would be aware of manipulation and any kind of enemy here. I want to do, I do want to clarify this five of swords before we wrap up. I'm just really being, yeah, page of swords in reverse. So I feel like there's been somebody that might be talking about you behind your back. Okay. Um, sorry, it's the knight of swords in reverse. Okay. And I feel like, like you need to just be careful. Uh, make sure that you're being, you, you're not just sharing with everybody, you know, being really hasty, racing into new friendships and stuff like that. I feel like there's somebody who's been like talking about you, trying to take advantage of you somehow. Okay. So be very aware of that. There's communication here, uh, but I feel like it's behind your back. You know, like somebody's talking about you behind your back, trying to stir up trouble between you and other people, if that makes sense. Like looking to try to get people against you or create enemies against you for whatever reason. It could be out of jealousy. It could be because, you know, it could be because you have something that this person wants too. Who knows? People talk shit for all sorts of reasons and like bad shit. It's one thing to talk about people's shit, but it's another thing to like actually say mean lies about a person. And I feel like somebody might be doing that to you. Okay, Aquarius. So keep your eyes and ears open. Definitely begin to connect with that intuition, grow that muscle, right? I think it's really important. Um, you know, to, to stay really connected right now. Okay. Cause I feel like it has a lot to do with like this person that's around you and this relationship that seems to be coming through. So I wish you all the best Aquarius. I really hope that this helped you somehow. And if it did, if you got any nuggets from this, if any of it resonated at all, please go ahead, smash the love button, show your girl some love, comment down below, subscribe. Like I said, don't forget to turn on the all for the notifications with the bell. Love you guys. Bye.